Hi, I'm Fat Descriptor. Recently, I helped Inti create an access challenge that, when you first look at it, doesn't seem to be solvable. I'm gonna walk you through how I would solve this challenge. The rules are the first thing you want to check out. Sometimes the goal is not just about popping an alert, but to leak a secret, which may not even involve JavaScript. The other thing is what browsers to use. Older browsers such as Internet Explorer are not really used anymore and tend to have easier solutions, so that's usually excluded. Here we can see the goal is to pop an alert in Firefox only. This also serves as a hint as the solution may require weird behaviors that only Firefox exhibits. The next things you want to look for are the source and sync. The source is the input that we control, usually it's a parameter in the URL. The sync is a dangerous function where the source will be reflected, like the infamous inner HTML. They work together to create an XSS vulnerability. Let's try to identify the source and sync in this challenge. We notice there isn't a parameter provided, so we can assume that this is a DOM XSS because the server doesn't take any input. In this case, we need to analyze the JavaScript code in the page. There's only one JavaScript file here. Widgets.js. The code looks huge and this might indicate it's a library. If you copy the first line and look it up on Google, you will find that this file is a copy of Twitter's widget library. Let's verify our assumption by comparing it with the one hosted on Twitter. Indeed, no difference. At this point, we shouldn't be looking at this JavaScript file, otherwise we would be looking for a zero day on Twitter. Okay. So far we cannot identify any source of sync. What the heck? If you play with the path a bit, let's say navigate to a non-existing directory, you will notice we end up on the same page. It looks like for some reason any non-existing paths are resolved to the challenge page by the server. However, the page appears broken. Let's take a closer look at how the resource files are loaded. We notice they are using relative path. When you use relative path, the resource will reference relative to the current directory. Here, widgets.js is referencing a resource in a non-existing directory instead of the one in the root directory. And that's why the style is messed up. Hmm, maybe there's a way we can track the page into loading a JavaScript file that we control? To do this, we need to play more with the path since we haven't found a way to control files yet. If you try double slashes on the root path, nothing will happen. But if you add something after the double slashes, it will trigger a redirect instead. It seems like the server tries to remove the extra slash by making a redirect, but fails to do the job. We can abuse this behavior to turn it into an open redirector by attaching a host name following the double slashes. So here is the plan. We craft a path such that it loads the challenge page, but with the widgets.js referencing to the open redirector. While this sounds feasible, we will quickly encounter a problem. You see, in order to make widgets.js reference to the open redirector, its current directory has to contain the open redirector. But because the challenge page will then share the same current directory, such a path will redirect instead of showing the challenge page. There's one exception. If the path ends with dot dot slash, which means to go up one directory, it traverses back to the challenge page. In the meantime, widgets.js will still be in the open redirector. Great! If you actually try it though, the browser converts the path to its final form before it's even sent to the server. Looks like it's yet another dead end. Usually when we test the path, we also test URL encoding. So let's also try to encode the dots. But the same thing happens. Let's stop for a moment and see if we missed anything. Remember the challenge is supposed to be solved in Firefox only? So far, everything we tried is consistent across all browsers. But when we try the dot dot slash idea with URL encoding on Firefox, it's treated as a file under a directory instead. Boom. Let's recap what's happening here. When navigating to this URL, the server traverses back to the root, which is the challenge page. On the browser side, 
it thinks the current directory is in the open redirector, so the JavaScript file will be in the open redirector as well. So this is how we solve it. This technique is called Relative Path Override, or RPO in short. When you can load a page in an alternative path, and the page imports CSS or JavaScript files using Relative Path, you could make it import another resource on the server. In this challenge, we chain RPO with Open Redirect to make the page load our JavaScript file. There's other techniques you can use like referencing an uploaded image or referencing the page itself. Check out the links in the description if you want to know more about this subject.